guys, Sherry Garrett from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for October the 30th until November the 7th. Hope you're doing well. I'm using my cards and I think I will do... Uh, yeah, well I did a split Divine Partnership for the masculine, so we might as well do... The split divine partnership with the feminine. Okay, so let's begin. How does the feminine see this connection or relationship with the masculine? Okay, well, a burden. Um, we saw this in the twin flame connection. She feels burdened. She's exhausted. She feels like she's burning a candle at both ends. Um, so this is an ending to feeling that way. So she she's putting down the burden. You know, there's a strong sense that she needs to rest, uh, especially in the twin flame connection, and so that's what she's doing, withdrawing. Okay, so what is she resisting? Four of Swords. Okay, well, she's resisting withdrawing. The Four of Swords is a healing energy. It's finding stillness, calm, serenity, um, and that was the overall message for the twin flame reading. It's time to rest, right? So you, you're not withdrawing. You're not putting down the burden. Um, so this is also healing the heart, you know, finding that time to, to love yourself, you know, put that love that you feel for the masculine into yourself, self-love. All right. So message from the feminine's higher self, five of pentacles. So this is disconnection, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone, feeling like you have no one to help you. Um, this could also mean that you need to detach from something in order to find your freedom. But really what I feel here is that the feminine is um, struggling with a desire possibly to completely disconnect from the, the masculine. You know, but she's resisting moving away. So, you know, this doesn't mean you need to completely cut the masculine out of your life. But you do need to find um, yourself within this image. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're looking to the outside. Um, so your message from your higher self is to, you know, I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. So I made another little deck here. It just has words on it with the reverse meaning. So let me just pull one card. I'm going to reverse some of these. Okay, what do you mean by the Five of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Not for you. So, I feel a lot of doubt creeping up with these cards. It's like, he's not for me. Disconnect, block, um, cut him out, right? And this could even mean, like, in the 5D as well. So, this energy is draining you look at you the ten of wands right it, you're you're in bed you're exhausted you're you can't sleep you keep thinking about this connection so you need to withdraw all right and um and cut out those things that are not good for you if you feel deep down in your soul that this connection is is not making you feel loved it's making you feel alone you know, then trust your instincts and, and release that energy. Okay, so for the past position is the Six of Wands, success and victory. So you felt like a rock star. You felt empowered. You felt like people were cheering you on. You were excited. Um, so beautiful, you know, celebratory kind of energy here. So you felt you were on the right path spiritually. Oops. Okay, so present moment is the Seven of Pentacles. Not surprised. So this is the pregnant pause, gestation period, waiting. Right? Over and over again, the feminine seems to be getting this card. So she is looking to the outside. She's waiting for the ships to return. She's waiting for harvest. She's waiting for something. Uh, so this is also a contemplation card, right? So this is reviewing the past. 
So I'm going to pull one card from my deck, Spirit. One card, please, for further clarity. Wow, 1111 card again. Crazy. Okay, so the masculine got the 1111 card for confirmation as a final outcome. So she's waiting for this connection to manifest, right? And I think this is just spirit saying, okay, stop the waiting, confirmation that you are in a twin flame connection. But it's the focus on this that is causing the exhaustion, the burden. Okay, so the future position is strength card. Interesting. This was the overall energy for the twin flame reading. So this is creating a loving, open environment. It is taming the beast within. So it's not lashing out out of anger, out of ego. Um, so very controlled, loving, uh, compassionate energy. So the feminine as a collective is moving into this space. Um, so this is creating a home environment, you know, somewhere where you can open up, whereas this is feeling alone, feeling lost, right? So, you know, if, there, if you require strength in order to do something, um, you know, do it, in a, do it in a loving manner. Don't, don't force your will on, on anyone. So I'm just going to pull one card from the deck forever, forever. See, here is fleeting, here is forever. So, obviously, right, with the 1111 connection, um, what I'm seeing here is don't give ultimatums, right? It's like, not he's not for me, I'm cutting him out of my life, boom. Um, but here we see this long-term dedication and connectedness forever you guys are twin flames forever right and it's like um i i see humility here all right so what is the message from the universe it is a two of wands so this is an expansion of the mind opening yourself up seeing all the possibilities you know walking through that door and just being in awe seeing how you are connected to the universe. You are the universe looking back at yourself. So instead of looking out for something to return, look out and see all the possibilities. Open up your mind. The universe is asking you to, to, to free your mind, like the matrix. This card is also making a decision to go on a spiritual path. Okay, so it's a reminder um, to change your focus. Um, see life as an adventure. Okay, so what is in your external environment? Eight of Wands. So this is communication. Um, it is accelerated motion. So we felt that accelerated motion with the masculine reading in the message from the un un or his higher self. We got speed up, and that was. Oh my god, I totally just forgot. Speed up was with... Uh, oh, the king of... No. Oh my god, I can't remember. It'll come back to me. Um, so, there's a sense that his higher self is telling... Oh yeah, it was with the Six of Swords. Um, there's a sense that he is taking too long either to, to make a decision or to rectify um, something that occurred in the past, but... We can see that energy being picked up with the Eight of Wands. So there's a sense that either he wants to communicate, the, there's um, Cupid's arrows being sent out, or things are speeding up. Um, it's almost like an anxious energy that I'm picking up here from the external. So this is a positive vibration. So there is manifestation there amazing energy that is surrounding the feminine but she's continuing to focus on something that is out there okay so what does she fear wow the devil so this is the ego this is the ugly side of yourself the part that would, would lash out out of anger out of fear this is also a codependent relationship addiction 
karmic relationship. It's a chain holding you back. So you fear the devil. You fear that either something's going to come along and take away what you desire, you know, your twin flame, or that you have no ability to control your ego. Um, yeah, I definitely feel that the feminine is struggling within herself, uh, pushing and pulling, um, struggling to find herself. Okay, so the overall energy is, wow, very nice, Queen of Wands. So this is fire energy. This is a feminine being, a leader, regaining her power. This is a very powerful woman. She can change people's lives. She influences people. She motivates them. Uh, this is someone who's very creative, very charismatic, shines her light for all. So the overall energy is to be this beautiful beacon of light um, and love yourself, right? The Queen of Wands loves herself, and that's where her confidence shines through. Um, so the Queen of No Fucks Given. So, you know, the, the devil is just the ego, right? It's um, nothing to fear. It is something to embrace. We all have the ego, right? It can't, it doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing if you control it. Confidence is not the ego. Confidence is self-love, right? There's a difference there. So it's like being able to shine your light and express your, yourself without coming off as egotistical or what have you. Maybe you're worried about that kind of energy being reflected at you or maybe you feel that the masculine is perhaps taken over by the ego. Um, or you're afraid that the ego will take over and ultimately cause you to do something that you don't necessarily want to do right you're acting out of anger out of frustration um, I'm just gonna pull one card for the devil here what do you mean by the devil or is there any other further messages that you would like to give for the devil serious so the reverse is humor so serious um, The feminine, there's something obviously that is weighing on the feminine, right? She has a ten of wands and how she sees this connection. And it's almost like she's holding back on, you know, it's like there's this volcano that is, that she's trying to control. Um, but at the same time, she... You know, this is somebody who is spiritual, who is a leader, right? Um, she's projecting this image, but at the same time, you know, she needs to withdraw. Definitely, she needs to find a calmer state of mind, some peace, some serenity, um, change the environment to more loving, more nurturing, which allows that energy to come to you rather than you waiting. So it's, I think it's pretty similar energy to what we've been seeing for the past month. Um, you know, it's uh, definitely that struggle. So I'm going to pull one card from Yosho Sen and also one from Miss and Mermaids since that's what I did for the masculine. So any further messages? Well, actually, yeah, this is final message from the universe. So let's see here. Traveling. So the Eight of Wands, it's the same card. So this, again, could be communication, but I will read the Osho Zen meaning to you. It's a little bit different. Sorry. Okay, so the tiny figure moving on the path through the beautiful landscape is not concerned about the goal. 
he or she knows the journey is the goal. The pilgrimage itself is the sacred place. Each step on the path is important in itself. When this card appears in a reading, it indicates a time of movement and change. It may be a physical movement from one place to the next or an inner movement from one way of being to another. But whatever the case, this card promises that the going will be easy and it will bring a sense of adventure and growth. There is no need to struggle or plan too much. The traveling card also reminds us to accept and embrace the new, just as when we travel to another country with a different culture and environment that, than the one we are accustomed to. The attitude of openness and acceptance invites new friends and experiences into our life. Okay, so there we go. There is no destination. There's nothing to travel to, right? It's, it's the pilgrimage. It's the act of adventure. Um, that is the destination. So see life as an adventure and get back on that horse, you know, and move towards those things that, that excite you, that make you feel alive. You know, and it could even be, you know, just doing something artsy fartsy. All right, so let me pull one card from Miss and Mermaids. Final message from the universe. Triumph at the Galatee. Oh wow, and I opened it right to the page. Okay, so a mythic beauty takes a ride. Across the ocean she doth glide. Friends and lover by her side, while I sit and coldly gaze in envy at her carefree ways make designs to spoil, spoil her days. Yeah, that's definitely it. It's like, not he's not for me, and so I'm going to lash out at him, and do you know what I mean? I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I don't want to do this anymore, and, you know, it's like this serious, egotistical side is kind of just looming there in the background. Okay, so a sea nymph and her admirers enjoy a magnificent chariot ride pulled by a pair of feisty dolphin fish. And it's interesting that the masculine got the chariot. So there's a mirroring here. It's like she's watching the masculine on the chariot and there's like this sense of envy and jealousy. Um, so this miniature scene is set against the backdrop of a lovely lady portrait which suggests they are being watched. So the meaning, you're being watched. Lately you have been having fun at the expense of getting the job done, and so far there have been no serious repercussions. But be warned, someone has been keeping an eye on you, and you will not get away with this kind of behavior. Perhaps she is jealous of your carefree ways, or simply irritated at your lack of responsibility. In any case, it is time to straighten up and do what you are supposed to do before you get called out. Okay, so there you go, get called out. It's like this sense of of anger and frustration that is building below the surface and it is about to erupt. So feminine, okay, tame that beast within. Um, this journey will test you to the limit. So it's not the faint of heart, right? Um, just when you think it's over, it begins all over again. So, um, my, I'm sending you all my love and my support and I'm there with you girls love you um, so I also just wanted to say thank you for your love and support also and share the love by hitting the subscribe button alright cheers guys peace